my name is Raquel. Hola amigos, me llamo Raquel. Ni hao pang yo men, rong en. I work at the Cesar Chavez Central Library. Are you looking for a new good read? Or wanting to reconnect with an old favorite? Allow me to introduce you to some of my all-time favorite children's books. You can share these books with your children or enjoy them on your own, all in the comfort of your own home. How, you might ask? With your library card, of course, and Hoopla, one of our free digital borrowing apps. If you don't have a library card at the end of the video, I'll tell you how you can get one without ever leaving the comforts of your own couch. <sighs> have you ever loved someone so much that you would give anything you could to make that person happy? Even enduring periods of loneliness while waiting for your beloved to return? This book is a tender tale of unfailing love. Once there was a tree, and she loved a little boy. So begins the story, The Giving Tree, written and illustrated by Shel Silverstein. Every day, the boy would come and would play, climb, swing, eat apples, and sleep in her shade. The boy loved the tree very much, and the tree was happy. But as the boy grows older, he wants more and more from the tree, and the tree ever so willing to give, and give, and give, and give. Many comparisons can be made between the main characters and familiar figures, and many lessons can be learned. But what I've chosen to really resonate with me in this poignant picture book is the power of unconditional positive regard for another and the capacity of love between two imperfect individuals. Cuddle up in bed with this quick read. Hi friends, it's me again, Raquel. Buenos dias, Taja Hao. If bizarre adventure and surreal stories are your speed, race to this book. Looking for a way to dispel boredom, siblings Peter and Judy happen upon something at a nearby park. The pair find a familiar looking board game, but this isn't your everyday tabletop tourney. A handwritten note taped to the bottom of the box cautions that it is a free game, fun for some, but not for all. P.S. Read instructions carefully. This is a jungle adventure game. Jumanji. Sound familiar? While this is different from its movie adaptations, the rules of play in the original story written and illustrated by Chris Van Allsburg are fairly similar. A. Player selects piece and places it in deepest jungle. B. Player rolls dice and moves piece a long path through the dangers of the jungle. C, first player to reach Jumanji and yell the city's name aloud is the winner. Jumanji! And the final words of instruction, D, very important. Once the game of Jumanji is started, it will not be over until one player reaches the golden city. To the children's horror and amazement, the game comes to life. With each roll of the dice, figures and phenomena suddenly appear. Monkeys, rain, rhinos, and more. How does the game end? Make your move and take a journey to Jumanji to find out. And if you're interested in gaming, follow our Facebook page to watch the library play virtual games. Hi friends, it's still me, Raquel. Do you remember how when we were young, we would often ask, why? Why do people do this? Why are grown-ups like that? To a child, the adult world can seem so big and important, but also strange and confusing at the same time. Come along with me and discover the child in all of us. In this book, The Little Prince by Antoine de saint Espere. A pilot crash lands on the Sahara Desert. He awakens to find a young boy, the little prince, who claims to have left his tiny extraterrestrial home and cherished flower to travel the universe. While stranded, the pilot befriends the prince and learns about the latter's encounters with adults on several planets prior to falling to Earth. The adult's actions leave the prince perplexed and reminiscent of what and who was left behind. Through the prince's story, we're reminded how to identify what is truly important. It is only with the heart that one can see rightly. What is essential is invisible to the eye. Get ready to get caught up in the fields and travel to Hoopla 
to check out this and all the other books mentioned. Also, honorable mention goes to The Little Golden Books. These were some of my most treasured tales when I was little, and they're also available on Hoopla. Remember, if you don't have a library card or forgot your numbers, dial 209-937-8221 or 866-805-7323, listen, then press 2, and our customer accounts team would be happy to help you. Once you've done that, go to your device's app store and download Hoopla. If you need help with Hoopla, be sure to to view our video all about Hoopla later today. Lastly, find the library's online book club on goodreads.com. Search SSJCPL for the Stockton San Joaquin County Public Library to discuss and discover your favorite read. Take care and happy reading. Adios, Zaijian. Hi friends, it's still me, Raquel. Do you remember when, how, <laughs> Hi friends, my name is Raquel. <laughs> my name is Raquel. Memo la la la. <laughs> With your library card, of course. <laughs> With your library card.